we're always talking about things that a narcissist does. What if today we talk about things that a narcissist would never do? Sound good? Let's get started. My name is Angie Atkinson and on this channel I offer free daily video coaching to help you discover, understand, and overcome narcissistic abuse and toxic relationships. I like to call it toxic relationship rehab. Sound good? If so, hit that subscribe button and let's get started. Today I'm going to tell you about 10 things that narcissists would never do. So let's just dig right in, shall we? Number one, one of the first things that narcissists will never do is tell the truth. What do I mean by that? The truth is that the narcissist only recognizes their own truth. It doesn't really matter whether their truth is the actual truth or something that they've made up in their head. It doesn't matter if you see their truth on paper or your truth on paper. It doesn't matter if you have actual proof that their truth is a lie. They're gonna stick to their story no matter what. Narcissists don't change their story and they don't tell the truth when their story doesn't match the truth. Number one. Number two, they don't take responsibility for their own behavior. If a narcissist does something to hurt you, they won't accept responsibility. They'll just go, oh, you know what? I didn't do that. I never said that, never did that, didn't mean it like that. And somehow or another, you'll end up being the one to apologize for the narcissist's behavior. It's pretty shitty, but that's how they roll. Number three, narcissists, they don't apologize, at least not sincerely and at least not for the right reasons. I mean, after all, since they don't bother to take responsibility, they have nothing to apologize for anyway, right? Number four, narcissists will never make you feel safe. See, one of the biggest things they wanna do is make you think that you need them. And as they work their magic and they get you to believe that they, you can't live without them, they install this sense of insecurity within you. Sometimes they start very early in the relationship with this. They make you question yourself, they make you wonder if your friends are trustworthy, they talk bad about your family, they make you feel like you need to pull away, they even dig in about any relationships that you're in outside of them, and I'm not talking romantic necessarily, but let's say if your, mo your mother was the narcissist, she might dig in on your spouse or significant other in order to make you trust them less so that you'll be more connected to her, for example. It makes them feel more powerful, more secure, in the relationship and they enjoy the idea of being the reason that you're so doubtful. Does that make any sense? It's true and it's sad. Next up, narcissists, they'll never make peace with you. And they do that for a number of reasons. Number one, they wanna feel really superior to other people, it's part of their nature. They need to be in control and if they admit that they've done something wrong, they might feel like they can lose that control. They enjoy being in conflict, unlike most of us, they want to feel the conflict they enjoyed. It feels invigorating to them. And then a lot of times they will see conflict in a relationship as a challenge. And they see themselves as sort of someone who must win the challenge or win the fight. They figure they're just reacting to somebody else's problems or somebody else's issues, but they don't wanna let go of their own point of view, even when they're wrong, because they feel like it makes them look weak. They need to feel like winners. And this brings me to the next thing that narcissists don't do. They don't negotiate. They don't change their behavior. They don't think they've done anything wrong. So you won't be able to get them to go to counseling. You won't be able to get them to meet you somewhere in the middle. They don't negotiate. If, if they have a, a price for an item they're selling, that price is firm, even if it means they don't eat that day. You see what I'm saying? Narcissists don't negotiate, at least not with people who are their closest supplies. Another thing a narcissist will never do is be direct with you. You can very rarely get a narcissist, well, hold on. They won't be direct with you unless it hurts you. So they'll be direct with you about something to do with you. They'll tell you that they think you're lazy or fat or you know, skinny or whatever insult they can think of. But when you confront them, they will never speak to you directly, especially when they're wrong. They'll double speak you, they'll word salad you, they'll do the narcissistic flip on you and somehow, once again, you end up apologizing for their mistakes. If you ask them anything regarding responsibility of their own or being fair in a situation, they will flip the switch, flip the script, sw switch it all around and it'll be all your problem. Another thing a narcissist never does is listen well. And what do I mean by that? Well, have we all been to the brick wall have you ever experienced the sensation of talking to a brick wall? That's what it pretty much feels like to talk to a narcissist. No matter what you say, no matter how many times you say it, the narcissist can't hear you unless it's what they want to hear. They hear you physically, but they don't listen. They don't understand. They pretend not to understand, even when they're perfectly capable of understanding. 
that's because pretty much every conversation that you're going to have with the narcissist will at some point or another either end abruptly or switch over to being about them. For example, you know, if you say, oh, at work today, somebody, somebody came in and robbed the place. The narcissist might be like, oh yeah, you think that's bad? Well, I stubbed my toe on the way into the office this morning. You know what I'm saying? They, they want to one up you. Speaking of which, they will never stop one upping you. And that's my next thing. Anytime you're dealing with a narcissist, you can expect that no matter what has happened in your life, they will have something worse to complain about. Next up, a narcissist will never do anything for free. They don't believe in paying it forward. They don't have that feeling in themselves. They think everything they get is all about them and that's all that matters. See, there's such a thing as an altruistic narcissist or the type of person who gives and gives and gives to charities and other publicly visible situations or maybe they give to their family or their friends but what it ends up happening is they don't do it without expecting something back if you've ever had someone you know a narcissist help you out of a tough situation and you've been so grateful you may notice that the narcissist expects you to do something in return for their favor to you does that make sense unless you can directly benefit them most of the time the narcissist won't be doing you any favors next up the narcissist will never stop trying to own you what do I mean by that? Well, unless they're able to replace you and find someone who is willing to give them the same supply that you were, they need you. You are their source of narcissistic supply. So even if they leave you, they may still come rolling back around. They may decide they still want to be friends. They may decide that their new supply is too boring or lazy or stupid, or their new supply is causing them too much drama and stress, or their new supply isn't giving them supply, or they don't have a new supply. Either way, they will always try to keep you on the back burner even when you have left them and moved on in your life. They may come back five years later trying to suck you back in. We call that hoovering. Don't fall for it. And finally, the last thing that narcissists never do is change. Again, narcissists never think there's anything wrong with them. They always see themselves as right. They always see themselves as a victim of circumstance if they are doing anything that's beyond what would be considered healthy and right. So outside of some major evolution or personal, you know, you, you don't see a narcissist evolving. They don't. They generally stay the same from the time they come into their narcissism until the time they pass. It is the way of the narcissist. There's one thing I just want to let you know before I wrap up today. None of this is your fault. Even though you feel probably that there's some fault of yours in this situation, Maybe you reacted badly to some of this treatment or you felt crazy because you were gaslighted too much or you feel like somehow you failed in the relationship. You have to understand you weren't dealing with someone who was capable of being in a healthy relationship and therefore nothing you could have done could have changed this except if you had only made the relationship about that person and dutifully stood by in a closet when they didn't want you. <laughs> and what I mean by that is I have this idea that narcissists... Um, would love to just put us in a box so we could just wait until they need our attention and not do anything else in the meantime. But it feels easier to blame ourselves because we can fix ourselves. The truth is what narcissists don't do is a big part of why narcissists can't have successful relationships that are beneficial to both partners. It's not your fault. Now it's time for the question of the day. What would you add to my list? What are some more things that narcissists don't do? Share your thoughts and your experiences in the comments below and let's talk about it. I'm going to wrap up for now. Thanks so much for being a part of my day and a part of my life. And hey, thanks for letting me be a part of yours. It really does mean a lot to me. I'll see you soon. It's my mission to teach others what I know to be true. You really can create the life you want. Take care of your body. Take care of your soul. Nurture the real you and introduce him or her to the world. Be comfortable in your own skin and in your place in this world. Take your spot. Take it now, and the universe will take its cue from you. You feel me? If so, subscribe to my channel. Let's get it done together.